I'm Susan Lobier and I'm an artist and here we are at the David K. Gallery in downtown Toronto. Uh, this is my work and it's called About Face and it consists of 26 heads and I would consider them 26 emotional portraits, all very different. Along with this work, I've also created uh, five G-clays on, on another one of the walls and that consists of a photo I took of inside the mold, so it's the negative of the mold. And uh, when I took the photograph it became, a it looks like a positive and, but creates a fairly eerie expression and that's called raw and it relates to the rest of the pieces because it's the inside of the mold as opposed to the positive of the mold. So this work uh, comes from another show that I did two years ago at this gallery called uh, State of Grace and that consisted of 15 jumping children on wire, bent wire uh, stands and that was an installation that uh, took up the middle of the space and you could wander around that but it consisted of a head that was not, it's not the same head, but it's a similar head to, to um, what's in this show. And so after that, I had done um, a mold that I didn't use, and I decided I'd start to use that mold and see where it would go. So I, I used uh, a mold that I didn't use for that body of work, um, for this body of work, and um, start to play with just putting clay into the mold and seeing where it would go. This is what came out of it. So I have been really interested uh, after these pieces have been finished in the reaction of the audience, of, of people who have seen them. And some people have had very uh, violent reactions against them, thinking they're very violent, that it's uh, very negative, it's destructive, they're wounded, and others have felt like they're quite cheerful, fun, and amusing. So it's, I think it's all about the projection of the of the, of the person who's looking at it and what they project onto the pieces. And that to me is really interesting. After the pieces were made and I was glazing them, I had to figure out a way to present them. And I wanted to have them, initially I wanted to have them relate to body and to have an installation where there would be these different levels of uh, heads and bodies and it would all be together sort of in the center of the room and I started with spools and then I happened to buy some spools that had twine on them and I, so then I started to think about how the twine would work as body too so I took this empty spool and started to wind twine around it and make a, um, a bump in the middle to kind of relate not just to, to, to neck but to the whole body and I did each one of these each one of the 26 heads I had a stand for them made out of a spool or wire wrapped or twine wrapped or something. When I ended up finishing that um, I decided it was way too complicated and it was taking away from the individual heads and so uh, I've only left a few of them like this but most of the 26 heads I ended up making a very simple plaster stand that uh, then relates to the head. For most of the show then I ended up thinking that it couldn't just be a round column that I needed to have something to put the column on. So then I had these stands made, these little shelves made, that n now relate to body in a much more abstract way. So with the shadow and the, um, the, the shelf and the, the plaster plinth and then the head, it again starts to relate to body but you can really see the head much more clearly.